We are here with Roger with Built Right Furniture Assembly here in Long Beach, California. And Roger, do you mind telling the audience how you manage home work-life balance? So, yeah, I mean, uh, the home work balance is definitely a difficult uh, thing that I, I still struggle with today. I'm sure everybody struggles with it for their entire life. But, you know, uh, when I first started my my handyman business in the beginning, uh, life was great. Like, you know, uh, me and my wife, it was just us two working professionals doing our own thing. We could work as much or as little as we wanted. Uh, and it was great. Um, and then, you know, when we were blessed with having, you know, our, you know, my little son, um, you know, it was it was one of the greatest you know gifts I, I had ever gotten uh, but with that uh, came like this really difficult situation of childcare which I think a lot of people can experience um, you know in this country um, in that like uh, you know we're we're basically two working professionals and we somehow have to figure out how to take care of this child at the same time working full-time um, so uh, you know we're in the situation now where it's like um, my, my wife uh, my wife has to go to work I stay at home and then when she stays home, that's when I can schedule clients. Um, so I'm kind of faced with like this tough hurdle of like suddenly going from like this full time thing where I can work like five to six days a week, building this business and growing it uh, to somehow figuring out how to do that on a part time schedule now because I'm only working half the week. Um, you know, and the challenges that come with that is just like it's, it's small little things that just add up that you don't really think is going to be an issue but like even though I'm home I can still take phone calls it's hard to like sell a client on a job when you have a baby crying in the background or like you know when you're trying to like clean up diapers and then like you got to also finish up these emails and send out these proposals um, these these little things just add up and just make it really difficult to like really grow a business uh, it's not impossible by any means but it's definitely a hurdle that um, I never really considered about navigating until after I had a baby in this world. Um, so, I mean, as of now, we're making it, you know, we're making it work. Um, you know, uh, the kid's going to go into daycare soon. Uh, we're going to have, you know, I'm going to have more time to like really grow the business further uh, th than what it is right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that, that's just kind of how we're juggling it. Um, you know, all that to say as well, even though like, you know, it's, I'm, I'm struggling with like, I don't want to say struggling, even though I'm having like a more difficult time kind of growing the business on a part-time schedule, trying to raise a kid, you know, with uh, two working adults in the house. It's not something I would, I, I don't regret it, you know? I, you know, I love raising my son at home. I love being at home with my son. Uh, you know, these, these younger years are, are things like you're never going to get back. So understanding that like, while like it might be, you know, there's one difficulty with like growing a business, you know, there's growing a child is just as flourishing.